You ever fix one bug, and suddenly three more appear like you've unlocked a cursed achievement? Welcome to modern development. Between tight deadlines, feature creep, and caffeine that stopped working two cups ago, burnout isn't an exception anymore. It's part of the job. Every developer's been there, staring blankly at your IDE, tabs multiplying like rabbits, your brain whispering, please stop. It's not just you. Burnout has become the default state of the modern developer. And in today's video, we will be exploring why this happens to us, how it happens to us, and how we can fight it. Burnout is what happens when your mental CPU hits 100%. You're exhausted, cynical, and your productivity tanks even though you're still working like a machine. For devs, that means your code compiles, but your soul doesn't. You open your laptop and instantly feel tired. You're still coding, still pushing commits, but it feels like every line of code costs you a piece of your sanity. One major cause, unrealistic expectations baked into tech culture, such as the full stack epidemic, which translates to do the work of three people and learn a new framework every quarter. You're expected to ship features fast, fix production bugs instantly, and stay up to date on whatever JavaScript mutation dropped this week. Companies love to say they value innovation, but what they really mean is do more for us and expect less in return. You miss one deadline and suddenly you're behind. You don't know the latest tool and suddenly you're obsolete. That constant chase doesn't just drain you, it convinces you that you're never enough. Then there's the context switching. Every dev knows this pain. You start your day planning to focus on one ticket and five minutes later you're juggling Slack messages, bug reports, and two quick syncs that last an hour. Like I said in my previous video, studies show it takes more than 20 minutes to refocus after an interruption, which means your entire day is just mental rebooting. You're not lazy, you're just stuck in a constant alt-tab loop between tasks. Another silent killer is lack of recognition. You fix a production bug at 2 a.m. and no one notices. Big whoop, wanna fight about it? You push one bad commit and suddenly it's an incident report. When you're doing your job right, it's invisible, but when something breaks, it's chaos. And I know, it's basically like this in every other field, but that imbalance slowly chips away at motivation. You start wondering why you even bother if nobody sees the invisible firefighting you do every day. And let's not forget the boundary problem. Remote work was supposed to give developers freedom, but it mostly erased the line between work and life. You log off from your job and immediately open your personal side project. You answer Slack on weekends and tell yourself it's just five minutes. Developers love saying they have flexible hours, but really, they're just working all of them. Add to that the classic imposter syndrome, feeling like everyone else is smarter, faster, and somehow not losing their minds. You scroll through LinkedIn, see people building AI startups in their free time, and wonder why you're struggling to fix a merge conflict. But here's the secret. Everyone's faking it. We're all Googling the same Stack Overflow threads from 2014 and talking to the same three AI chatbots. That constant comparison just turns normal exhaustion into guilt. You're not just tired, you feel like a failure. The reason burnout never goes away is because the industry still glorifies it. Hustle culture is everywhere. Job listings brag about fast-paced environments, like it's a perk. Devs pull all-nighters and wear it like a badge of honor. But coding isn't manual labor, it's mental architecture, and a brain that never rests eventually collapses under its own weight. So what's the fix? It's not another productivity app or grind-smarter mindset. It's boundaries. It's saying no to impossible timelines. It's closing your laptop at 6 p.m. and not feeling guilty about it. Because burnout doesn't make you a better developer, it just makes you a broken one. The best code comes from a rested brain, not a fried one. The truth is, the job isn't going to slow down for you. No, you have to slow down for yourself. You can't outwork burnout, you can only outsmart it. So next time your code breaks at 3 a.m., maybe don't fix it right away. Sleep. The bug will still be there in the morning. This was Codehead with yet another tech rant. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Lights out.